Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Governor Horton Mead, UK Parliament Delegation reports Buhari Federal Government. Governor Horton Mead, UK Parliament Delegation reports Buhari Federal Government. So my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Members of the United Kingdom Parliament have been urged to prevail on the Nigerian government to bring an end to the incessant killings by Earthmen in Benue State. The call was made by the governor of the state, Samuel Hotom, when a delegation from the parliament visited him in Abuja, Nigeria's capital territory. Hotom informed the delegation that for such killings and displacement of residents to end, the Nigerian government must treat the issue rightly without religious or ethnic bias. The governor of Benue State, Samuel, on Tuesday, May 31st, met with a delegation from the United Kingdom. Parliament at the Benue State Governor's Lodge, Asokoro, Abuja. Speaking to the delegation from the United Kingdom Parliament, Whole Party Parliamentary Group on Freedom of Religion and Beliefs, Hotom appealed to the international community to put pressure on the federal government to address the continued act of terrorism by harmed earthmen in the country without religious or ethnic bias. Stating that it appears like the current administration in Nigeria is unwilling to wield the big stick against murderous terrorist groups. The governor said that the Nigerian government saddled with the responsibility of protecting the right of the people as enshrined in the constitution is not doing enough. In a statement released by Nathaniel Ikyo, the governor accused the federal government of failing to act swiftly to tame the rise of terror attacks on communities in the country for many years by Islamic extremists with the sole aim of taking over the country must be, must be put to an end. The governor alleged that the current appointment of suspected Boko Haram supporters into key federal offices, integration of repentant members of the sect into the military land failure of the government to arrest and prosecute terrorist hetmen, have also proven its complicity. For the sake of national unity, Cohesion, peaceful coexistence, and promotion of development, the governor warned that the right of the people to freedom of religion must also be respected by the Nigerian state.
He said that there is a strong need for the international community to intervene by putting pressure on the government to do the right thing. He informed the visiting parliamentarians that due to the activities of these terrorist groups, over what over 1.5 million people have been displaced from their ancestral land and properties worth billions of naira were destroyed in Benin State as a result of the invasion. He recommended the rehabilitation and the return of IDPs to their ancestral homes as well as payment of full compensation to victims. Responding to the demands made by Hotom, the leader of the delegation and member of parliament from Ireland, Jim Shannon thanked the governor for availing his team with a comprehensive insight into the issues in the state and Nigeria as a whole. Shannon assured that they would present his case to the right department to, to the right department back home to get positive results. In their separate comment, Brendan O'Hara of the House of Commons and Rachel Minor who acknowledged that the religious crisis in Nigeria was getting worse, said they would continue to talk to government, religious and civil society leaders to effect the desired change. Governor Samuel Autumn had won the ticket of the PDP for the 2023 election in Benue's Northwest Senatorial District. Autumn's emergence followed his adoption by delegate from the seven local government areas which make up the Senatorial District. The incumbent Senator Emmanuel Okejev has said he would not seek re election in the forthcoming poll. In a related development, Pat Asado, a member of the PDP in the House of Representatives, had lost his bid to return to the National Assembly in 2023. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you.